Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and it is October. It is spooky season. It's cozy fall season. So I am going to go through some books that I think are perfect to read during the fall. First and foremost on this list is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This fall is a circus that shows up without warning and is a magical, wondrous circus. But the circus is just a front for a game that is being played behind the scenes by Celia and Marco, who were both trained from childhood to be magicians and specifically for the purpose of playing this game. This book is first on the list because it just feels like fall wrapped up in a book. I went and saw Erin Morgenstern um, speak when her second book, The Starless Sea, came out. And one thing that she addressed briefly was the Night Circus is very much set in fall and like draws a lot of inspiration from fall, whereas The Starless Sea is very much set in winter and draws a lot of inspiration from winter. So they have very, very heavy seasonal feelings to them. And The Night Circus really does just feel like the perfect fall read. It talks about apple cider and the air. Like just reading this book or even just remembering it for me makes me think of fall and makes me think of the crisp fall air. And it is the perfect book to read during fall. Next is Moonstruck by Grace Ellis and Shay Beagle. This is a graphic novel series that takes place in this magical town and just kind of follows the happenings in this magical town and it is very fun and very cute and again just has that fall feeling. I think with this one it's not necessarily because it was inspired by fall but because of the magical elements of it and I think magic can be heavily associated with Halloween and especially with some of the characters in these graphic novels being things like fairies or werewolves or things that kids and, and adults have dressed up as for Halloween makes it feel like a very good fall read. Also on the back, there is a character who has a flannel tied around their waist. And for me, every time I see flannel, I think of fall. So with all of those things combined, Moonstruck, definitely a very good fall read. Next is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. This is a quick little graphic novel that honestly doesn't have very many words that is about a vampire and a werewolf who fall in love. And I don't think this needs very much explanation of why I think this is a perfect book to read in the fall. And if you're looking for something short, even to read on Halloween itself, this would be a perfect book. Again, vampires are something that is a very popular costume for Halloween. So this is the perfect graphic novel to read during the season, especially if you are going to dress up as a vampire for Halloween. Next is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This is a book about Yadriel, who is a young trans man from a very traditional Latinx family that also happens to have a lot of magic. Yadriel is trying to prove he is a true brujo and in doing so he accidentally ends up summoning the wrong ghost and from there he has to partner with this ghost to try to get the ghost to pass on and also solve the mystery of what happened to his cousin. This book is the perfect fall read for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is set in this time period. This book takes place in the days leading up to Dia de los Muertos, so it is the time period that this book actually takes place. Also, this book mostly takes place in a cemetery. Add to the mix the mystery element and you have the perfect trans Latinx fall read. Next is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. In this we follow Deja and Josiah who have been seasonal best friends all through high school. They work at the same pumpkin patch every fall and finally they are seniors and it is the last night of the pumpkin patch for their season for the season and their last night ever working there 
together. Josiah is ready to mope over this being their last shift together and their last time at the pumpkin patch, but Deja is not ready to let him and she wants to make this last shift an adventure. This graphic novel is so cute and so fun and is like stereotypical fall activities as it takes place in a pumpkin patch. And last on this list is Ghost Squad by Claribel A. Ortega. This book follows Lucille, who can see the spirits of her family's dead and her best friend Sid as they accidentally awaken some malicious spirits that start wreaking havoc throughout their city. Together, they must join with Sid's grandma Babette and Babette's tabby cat to try to reverse the curse and save the city before it is too late. This book is perfect for this spooky season because again, ghosts, trying to fight malicious spirits, it is just the perfect time to be reading books like this. And this is middle grade. So if you're a little bit of a scaredy cat, kind of like me, it is not too scary, but you get all the spooky elements without it being too spooky or too scary. And those are all of the books that I think are perfect to read during this fall season. Let me know down in the comments what you would add to this list. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!